So this is by Moo, and this is a permanent notification. So there is a couple of little steps here where you install the permanent notification PKG, you run the payload guest, and you send a payload, and then you're able to get all kinds of very helpful notifications, such as this one right here, which is debug settings. So the first thing that you would need to do is go over to this URL and then just download the files. And then one other thing is, is that since this is by Moo, and Moo was one of the ones that created this really cool PS4 exploit host that I mentioned on the channel here just three months ago, it works really nice with that version if you already are using that right now. So let's go ahead and jump over to the PlayStation 4 and give it a shot. Okay, so this looks easy enough to install. Basically, I just unzip the PS4 notifications.zip into this folder here. And there, as you can see, we've got two PKGs. Let's go ahead and install the very first one here, which is the permanent notifications 1.00. Okay, and it is ready to use. And I do not need to install payload guest because I've already got that on my system. So let's go ahead and let's navigate over and I'm going to now install the permanent notifications. So we'll press X here. And from right here, I don't believe we do anything. We just wait and that is correct. And it says copy finished. Now you can close the application. So we'll just go ahead and we will close the application just like it said right there. And now we need to go and load up payload guest. So hopefully this version was compatible and it looks like it is because right there is the shortcut. So we'll go ahead and press X here. Okay, it says notification shortcut loaded exit PS4 to see the changes. And now we'll go up to our notifications here and right there they are which is very nice. So we've got now a shortcut to debug settings. So we'll just press X here and there's my debug settings. Back into notifications, we could go to activate gold hen and that would obviously be where he stores his host at. And then right here is for the ESP32-S2 gold hen. Now I do have a video on how to set this up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that into my PS4 and let's see what it does once you press it. And there it goes, there is the local version. So that is actually a very nice shortcut, especially if you're already using his version of Gold Hen, which is on a ESP32-S2 device. So it looks like you can also jump over to storage. There is USB storage device. There is also system settings. There is a library. And I must say that the colors are just wonderful on this. So we'll go into controller options. And you know, all of these are just gonna be shortcuts to a couple of different things in here. So parental controls, camera settings, so rest mode settings. So this is so incredibly nice to be able to have all of these things just right here and you can get to them with just a click. So hats off to Moo for doing this and putting this together. And thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.